Welcome back to Four Winds Water Cycle. Today's lesson is called Sticky Water. Water has some very interesting qualities that we're going to study today, and it tends to stay with itself and stick together. So that's why we call it sticky water. Now the reason this happens is the structure of water looks a little bit like this. It looks kind of like Mickey Mouse, doesn't it? So the big circle here is oxygen atom, and these two ears are hydrogen atoms, and that's what water is made of, hydrogen and oxygen, H2O. Now, when that structure comes near other structures like it, it has a unique way of attaching itself to itself. And because of the way it's structured, it kind of tends to stick together, sort of like magnets tend to stick to each other. So because of this, water has qualities that we can play around with that we're going to do today. And some of those qualities are called cohesion and surface tension and adhesion. So first, let's take a look at what cohesion is. Cohesion means something that sticks to itself. So water molecules, as I just showed you, tend to stick to each other when they come in contact with each other. So to demonstrate that, I'm going to take a simple penny, ordinary penny, and an eyedropper. If you don't have an eyedropper, if you want to play along at home, you could play around with some things that might work. I tried a measuring spoon, tiny little measuring spoon that worked, maybe a knife or a skewer. I'm going to do one drop at a time and put it right on the head of the penny. And you can see how it kind of balls up. This will keep on attaching to itself until we get to the point where another force takes over. And that other force is called gravity. There it goes. When gravity's pull gets too strong, it will break that cohesion. Try it at home. It's really fun. So that's cohesion. Water sticks to itself. So let's try another way to demonstrate surface tension. What I have here is a glass of water and an ordinary paper clip. Now if I throw this paper clip into the water, naturally, it just sinks right to the bottom. But water has what we call the surface tension, which on a, a flat surface of water is kind of like a skin of all those molecules sticking together stronger than the air is pulling them. And what that does is it creates kind of a skin on top of the water. And if I take a paper clip and balance it very carefully, now paper clip's very lightweight, and if I just drop it into this water very carefully, look at that, a paper clip floats. So the paper clip, when it's dropped in gently, is not strong enough to break that attraction water has to itself. Now, I'm going to show you something else. In my eyedropper, I've got just a little bit of dish soap, dish detergent. And dish detergent has a quality of its own, which breaks surface tension. Look at that. Surface tension skin got broken by the soap and the paper clip sank right down with the pull of gravity. Pretty fun, huh? You could try this at home. Okay, so we talked a little bit about qualities of water, adhesion, which is water sticks to itself, and surface tension, which is how that stickiness causes an edge or a skin to form on top of the water. And now there's another thing called cohesion. And cohesion means water's tendency to stick to something else, not just itself. So if you want to do this at home, what you'll need is a piece of wax paper, and I've just discovered that one side is waxier than the other, so you want the waxy side up. And if you can make yourself something that looks a little bit like this, a maze or any design you want to, just to play around with, and you'll see what we're going to do with that. Now put the wax paper on top, and you can see through it, now I'm going to put a drop of water on these end parts and then I'll take my toothpick, just an ordinary toothpick, I'll drop it right in that water and water's quality of adhesion 
allows it to stick to my toothpick and I can drag it all the way around the maze. When I get to the end, I lift up my toothpick and look, the water is still there. And I can do that with all these little ends. Drag my water droplets around the maze. This is really fun. I recommend trying this at home if you have wax paper and a toothpick. So go ahead, have fun, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. We come from the water, go back to the water, turn the world around. We come from the water, go back to the water. Turn